What's going on, everybody? It's episode 27 of the Real Bodybuilding Podcast, and I got the interview of all interviews with my man, Cedric McMillan. What's up? Hey, what's up, Foo? How you doing, man? <laughs> hey, you looking all professional over here. You got a little studio, <laughs> studio set up and everything. <laughs> hey, man, this might be my transition from bodybuilding. It might be my new, my new thing. <laughs> um, what's going on, dude? I wanted to ask you, how come you haven't... Uh, why don't you do interviews with anybody? Uh, well, the thing be, is, let's be real. Yeah. So, so the thing is, is um, can you hear that? I can hear you. Motherfuckers is um, they hit. They must know that I'm. Anyway, um, the thing is, I got a whole lot to say, man. You know, we've had conversations when we travel and stuff together. But what I realize is um, people say, oh, you should uh, you should make YouTube videos and do and tell people, you know, but, you know, for some reason, I just don't feel I, I don't feel the need to do that. Right. Like it's almost as if. Um, when you when you a loser what you say is kind of irrelevant. Like your methods, your theories, your your opinion, all of that, none of that shit wow. matter because because you're a fucking loser. You know what I'm saying? And when you, and, and okay, so when you are a winner or when you are a champion, then what you say, the way you cook your chicken, what you think about life, your theory about training, all, all of that matters then. But until then, everything you say and everything you believe then it, it, it's just something else for somebody to say oh she, you know when i tell you about my life and you realize i only sleep three or four hours a day that's something you can say oh that's why his you know that's why his, he always looks like shit you know okay but wait a minute before you go on from that point i want to push back a little bit so your yeah. assumption is until you're the best of the best champion that you shouldn't be giving advice um, not necessarily giving advice. Now, when somebody asks you a question like, "What, Cedric? What do you think about this um, that I'm trying to do? What do you think? What is what is what is your way?" Cool, you know, I could give that. But you know, for me to just be sitting up throwing my opinion around, you know, and say, for example, I just got my ass kicked. I need to be focused more on what the fuck I'm doing and less about broadcasting my opinion around, you know, about things or the way I see stuff. And that's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, so your uh, so your view is, you should you don't want to do a lot of interviews because you haven't reached the pinnacle of where you want to where you see yourself. Yeah, man. Like what I say don't even it don't even matter. Even though what I say matters to me, it it don't have no credibility behind it. You know what I'm saying? Well, and, I don't. Uh, I think I just I it it's not nobody's right or wrong. I just kind of disagree with that because I think people yeah. out there watching. You know, just because you're not Mr. Olympia doesn't mean people don't want to know what Cedric thinks about, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever it is, right? So, but yeah, I understand you know, your point of view. Man, you know, and people give me a hard time about that a lot. And they say, you know, some people some people just like you and they like the way you think and they like the way you do things and they want to hear what you got to say and, and all of that. And, 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 uh, and, and it, it would, I even got challenged like this. This man said, you know, you're too selfless to be so selfish yeah. with yourself. Why don't you share yourself with, and, and I, and I, and, and my only, you know, and when he hit me with it, it, it was, it was a real challenge. And my only response was because I don't deserve to share myself yet. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't deserve to. And that, and that's just how I feel, you know, like I'll, I'll be honest, man, anything anybody can say about me, I'm already like 10 steps ahead of motherfuckers with criticism of myself. You know oh, what I'm I know. saying? I'm, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and so I, I just shut the fuck up until you the man, you know what I'm saying? Once you got your shit together, all right, now you can say something, you know what I'm saying? And, and, uh, and another thing, here's the second part that that's the personal side of yeah. the interviews and stuff. The second part is, um, with the way um, this media thing changed because, you know, I can remember before I turned pro, you know, a few years before you turned pro and, you know, all we had was the magazines and, 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 and um, 
a few of the websites just now started booming, you know, but we yeah. were still buying, we were still buying what, 200 page magazines, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, that was where you got your information and that's where you got your news from. And then when everything switched over to the social, not social media, but you know, like uh, websites and forums and stuff. Yeah. And uh, so now it's all about, let's get this traffic on these pages. And, um, uh, and I can remember, you know, you get a contract with a magazine company and they say, oh, go over here to this forum and talk to the fans over there. This traffic, yeah. you know, because they'll be able to throw out commercials and stuff. Yeah. So then I realized what you have to say now um, is interesting. And then, you know, these media companies can in turn use that, you know, as a, as a way to market. people and stuff you know so they want to know what you got to say but yeah. when they come to listen to it we're gonna throw this commercial on them you know what i'm saying we're gonna I commercialize see. you know your personality really you know like that and oh, so so and, and here's how it started it kind of started with mb you know yeah. i believe all of us kind of got kind of got you know fucked in the butt by mb at some point <laughs> or another and uh you know so you know they drop you you know they'll drop you like christmas eve one year yeah, yeah we're not gonna resign you but then when you do good at a show, here they come with their camera yeah. talking about they want to do an interview, you know? Yeah. Nah, man, I, you know, I'm good, you know? Yeah. So uh, it started like that. And then it just, and then here comes uh, YouTube. And I, I don't know if I was in UK or where I was. Every fucking body got a, U, a YouTube channel. Yeah. And so where it was before, you know how me and you would be at the booths and stuff. We we taking pictures. And then the worst, the worst case scenario would be, hey, could you please make a little video for my buddy who couldn't make it? You yeah. say hey to him. Yeah. Of course I can. And then it turned into, hey, uh, I have a YouTube channel. I got yeah. this many followers. Say something to, you know, my and, and And then it just keeps going and going and going, yeah. you know, and to the point, you know, where it's a little bit disgusting, you know, like, damn, man. Um, so you feel like there's not a genuine... You feel like it's uh, the media has become, it's like not genuinely like we want to hear what Cedric has to say, but more, how can we get more clicks and Cedric will bring us clicks. I, I tell you what, this is what the people use it for. Like it, yeah. say, say for example, like when you say, Hey man, um, you know, I want to have you on my show. I, I automatically knew it wasn't no bullshit involved. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and, and so, yeah, of course I will, you know, but like with somebody else, come on now do you as a company really care about what I got to say or yeah. do you just want to try to use the fact that somebody else cares what I got to say? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, and so, and so what it made me do is kind of protect myself a bit more and say, you know, well, rather than put myself out there so much for anybody to just throw around and use, I just keep my shit to myself, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 and likewise, um, so watch this. If I, have a YouTube channel yeah. and I got, and I got 15 shoulder workouts, 15 leg workouts, whatever, because I'm doing this every week. Boom, 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 boom. Now, when I do get to a position, you know, I guess authority is not the word, but to the position where I feel like, you know, maybe I matter. Yeah. Hell, <laughs> I've done everything 40 times already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All of this is out there. There's nothing new I can even give nobody yeah. because I've already like, saturated you know oversaturated um uh the, the the industry with me yeah you know and i would much rather save that to to until there's a better time to where you know what you have to offer maybe has a bit more value you know what i'm saying well uh, I, under, I understand what you you are saying and i do yeah. what you're saying is uh admirable and respectful and i can i can see the the quality in it but at the same time and I'm, I'm not pushing back or trying to convince you or anything i'm just saying yeah. there's a whole group of people that are like how old are you cedric 40 38 oh, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying like there's a whole group uh, of people the reason i brought that up is there's a whole group of people that are like well how, what the what did cedric do from 25 to 35 or from 20 to 40 to yeah. fucking get to where he is how come he looks like this and nobody else does so it's yeah. like, you know what I'm you know saying? What? You know what, who I, I tell, I'll be honest with you. And this is what's fucked up about me. And I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's so many other people that are the same way. When I tell you 
or anybody what I did from the time I was 25 to now or 30 to now. When I tell anybody what I did to prep for the show or when I do anything, and there is 10,000 people that said, you are amazing, right? Yeah. When one motherfucker <laughs> says, <laughs> he fucking sucks. <laughs> I know, I know. It's hard, but you have to put that in perspective, though. Because listen, I go through it. Listen, I put these videos up, and I get like 500 comments, and like yeah. there's two. Yeah. fucking cocksuckers right yeah 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 yeah, yeah but you just yeah. got to remind yourself there's 498 fucking no, people that no, like appreciate no, it i know no, you're you're like me no. you think like i do <laughs> those two i'm trying to figure out what i got to do. thanks for watching please subscribe share with your friends and like the video and if you get a chance check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find hostile and myself and lastly check out hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear Thanks again for watching.